My granddaughter's 14. She's got her learner's permit. She's driving my car. <laughs>
To recharge it, it just uses the recharging cord. I, one thing I, I love about uh, Opez is there is no charging brick. Uh, it's you just plug this into the unit, plug this into the wall. It'll take up to 300 watts. Or if you plug it into solar, it'll take 240 watts. Either way, you're going to charge this in about an hour, between an hour and an hour and a half. I've been using it at home now for the last month or so, and I've been running my laptop off it and running it down on purpose and charging it back up on purpose. And it takes, like I say, a little over an hour to charge. When it first starts charging, when the battery is absolutely flat, it'll be charging at about 300 watts when you have it plugged into AC. And like I say, it is a LifePo 4 battery in here. So it's safe from fire hazard. You don't have to worry about it. So this weighs 8.16 pounds, and it measures about nine and a half inches this way by uh, seven and a quarter inches this way by about six inches high. It's got the fold down handle on it. That's pretty handy. Coming around the back side, this is where you plug in your 110 power here. Right there. Over here is where you plug in your solar panel. There's a fuse on this side. It comes with extra fuses, and the fuses are just little automotive fuses. You can get them at any auto parts store. But it, it came with three extras just in case. I don't anticipate blowing a fuse myself, but I guess you never know. I'll be taking this camping, and oh, there's a bug. I'll be taking this camping, and I personally have a lot of stuff to charge. Um, I have to charge my laptop and my phone, and I have to charge my headphones, which I have like three pairs because you can never have too many headphones. Um, Bluetooth speakers for music stuff. So I'm looking forward to using it. <laughs> I've got a whole bunch of these little power banks, but if you've got room for something a little larger, like I say, this is like having a bucket full of these. <laughs> this is a lot better. This is a camping channel, but this little Opus Exodus 600 also has many uses around the home. Now, whereas it won't run a co coffee maker or a toaster or microwave, it's too small for that. Some of the things it will run are like a lamp, a coffee grinder, a fan, a HEPA filter, a TV set, a computer or laptop. These are the kinds of things that it will run. Of course, at home, it'll run your, it'll power your cell phone and your camera batteries, things like that at home also. So it's very handy for power outages at home for the necessary items like that, including a CPAP. To be a little more clear on the charging rate on this, it'll go from um, zero to 80% uh, in 33 minutes if you plug it into AC. If it's at zero percent, and you want to fully charge it, it'll charge to 100% um, in 46 minutes on AC. Or if you got like AC and solar power plugged into it this, at the same time, it'll recharge fully in, in 33 minutes. The LiPo 4 battery is good for 3,500 cycles or more. And after that, it'll still charge up to 80%. So after years of use, you'll still be getting use out of it. I look at it for like, like I showed you, camping is ideal for that or just being out for the day. For example, go fishing. Not only keep your phone charged, but run a 12 volt compressor refrigerator all day. It'll do that for you. It's got a battery management system that protects it from over voltage, over current, overheating. And that's important. You want to protect the battery at all costs on these. By the way, it's got a three year warranty. What Opus says about this one is that it's the best entry level portable solar power. And I think they're right about that. It's got high quality and a really low price. And with that, let's get back outdoors here. As for price, the suggested retail price is $199. But right now on Amazon, there's a huge discount. Plus, if you throw in the Gone Again discount listed down below this video, click on the link below. It's $132.40. And if you're a Prime member, that includes shipping. So that's a deal. Well, in the summertime, there's a river flowing through here, but it's all froze over still. Beautiful area though. So it does that by itself. Again, this is up. Isn't that cool?
It's warning you. You got a tree behind you. It's got obstacle avoidance so it won't hit solid objects, but it'll still hit a tree branch, you know, like a thin tree branch or something. Yeah. It would still hit that. But uh, if you were going up against a rock wall or something, it would just stop. 30 feet. Zoom out. Whoa. <laughs> Weird. It's like a bug. It is. <laughs> Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. So it's going to go out and it's going to hover around you and then it's going to come back and land in your hand. Whoa, cool. Isn't that cool? And it's going to keep you centered. Now, I don't think it's going to keep me centered. I got to go change a battery, but you just stay there and let it come back to you. Cool. Got the little hover drone up there right now. And that thing is autonomous. It'll just kind of do its own thing. Right now, Ricky's flying it using the phone because you can also fly it manually. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. So what's for lunch? Hot dogs and beans. <laughs> that suits me just fine. Nothing fancy here. We discussed shish kebab, but that was a little over the top. So much. Yeah. <laughs> Time for hot dogs. Yay. Well, a little scorched on the outside. You know, I like my hot dogs kind of bloody rare in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> good thing they're fully cooked, huh? No, they're going to be fine. They're going to be really good. Yeah, they just need warmed up a little bit. Oh, smart. There we go. Yeah, these are done, though. The beans are nice and hot. Well, I'm having mine extra fancy. Mustard and ketchup. Mm, me too. You ready? Mm-hmm. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. And as they say in Texas, you want some Banes with that? <laughs> Heck yeah. Cheddar cheese hot dogs. Really good. Well, we are all cleaned up here. All fire is out. We had a nice time at this spot. Right now we're just going to go cruising the mountain roads. We are cruising a little bit. Stopped and did some target practice. Let Ricky shoot handgun for the first time. Uh, yeah, she's all right. <laughs> you enjoy that? Oh yeah, it was really fun. Anyways, you guys, now we're going to head on back to the house. I, I need to see how Linda's doing. I don't have any cell coverage out here, so I'm gonna, we're going to head back. But thanks for coming along on this one, and see you around. Yeah, it is.